Alright, hi guys. I am overclocking my uh, Q8400 to one full gigahertz over its rated speed. And before that, I thought I'd give you guys a real close up look at the Q Flash. I'm going to flash my BIOS. Um, I'm using Q Flash uh, Utility version 2.08 on the EP45 UD3P. I've got uh, BIOS version F10 for the uh, version 1.1 of that board. So I've booted into my BIOS, loaded optimized defaults, set those, lo booted back into my BIOS, and entered the QFlash utility with my USB drive attached. And there is my file. So all you have to do is find it, highlight it, and press enter. It'll read the file and say, I don't know if you can read that, are you sure you want to update it, enter to continue, escape to abort, so I'll hit enter. So it's updating, erasing, updating, erasing. So while this is happening guys, check out, please check out uh, three or four channels I've got. The really, really good guys. Um, Noxtech.com LakzupaCabra.com, I mean LakzupaCabra PL, uh, Cosmo Knight 74. Check out those guys' channels. They're really, really great guys. They got really great content. So my my BIOS is updated. You want to at this point reset. So hit Escape to reset, and then Enter to continue. Escape to abort. So I'm going to pull out my flash drive and hit enter to continue so my board will power off power back on I should be running BIOS version F10 so I'm hitting delete right now to get back in there and do some settings and there it is sure where you go here to find the BIOS version but looks like it went fine I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the get everything set here and we'll uh, resume this in just a second hey by the way guys real quick if you're ever wonder if you're in a gigabyte BIOS and you're ever wondering what BIOS version you're running and what your backup BIOS is because they're dual BIOS push F9 and it'll give you this screen here. It shows you a whole bunch of information, including your main and backup BIOS versions. So that's pretty damn handy. This is not going to boot. Okay, so it's turned off. Now it's going to restart with my uh, stock settings and let me mess with them. So I will be right back and show you that. Okay guys, so there is the message you get to experience boot failures because of overclocking changes or voltage. Last settings may not coincide with current hardware states. So what have I missed here? Okay, so now we've come to the point where we are going to try to get this thing up to one full gigahertz over its rated speed. I put I press control F1 to get to unlock some of these features, some of these options. Gonna disable C1E thermal monitor EIST. Enable base clock and go to four. I'm gonna try 455. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I'm gonna try enhanced performance, or excuse me, standard performance enhanced on your DRAM. 
On memory multiplier, you need to find something that is at or below your rated memory, your memory's rated speed. You'll probably want to set your DRAM, DRAM timing selectable. Oh, I can't talk manually to your timings of your RAM. Okay, and on voltages. Enable load line calibration on the CPU V core. I am going to try 1.30625. I'm going to bump up my CPU termination voltage just a bit to. Uh, 1.28 the rest of these voltages you're gonna wanna set at normal if you don't set them manually set them to normal because if you leave them on auto the board will sometimes overcompensate and send too much voltage to the other components on your motherboard so I've got 8 times multiplier, 455 on host frequency, standard performance enhance, memory multiplier is set so it reads at or below my memory speed, the timings are at what they're supposed to be, load line calibration enabled, v-core and termination set to a little bump, the rest of the voltage is normal, DRAM is what it's set to, what it's supposed to be set to, and I'm going to try to boot this, see what happens. Again, guys, check out noxtech.com. Check out Lakzupa Cobra PL. Check out Cosmo Knight 74. These guys are real good guys. They got real good content. So please check out their channels. Subscribe if you like their stuff. A lot of you probably already are subscribed, is my guess, but if you're not, check those guys out. They're great, great guys with great videos. So it looks like I'm going to boot, guys, at 3.6, I think it was 3.64, but let's check here. I'll open up CPU-Z. First thing I'll do is open up Prime95 and get this CPU cooking. That's just a stress, uh, it's just a program made to stress your CPU. So I've got that opened up. CPU Z will tell us exactly what we have here. 3639 megahertz. So 3.64 gigahertz. My temperatures. Forty three through forty nine, fifty. Okay, so let's see if any of these workers have stopped yet. Nope. Still showing a hundred percent in Windows on all four cores. So there it is, guys. A 3.64 overclock from 2.66 stock. My temperatures are around 50. And that's really uh, not too bad. Call that a successful overclock. So anyway, you guys have a great day.